Hi viewers, good day. Welcome to vSparks. Today we are going to see what are Docker images and we are going to see a demo on how to create an image from a running container. Docker images may also be called as container images. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. What is a Docker image? Docker image is a template that contains the application and the necessary dependencies to run that particular application alone. This is just similar to your operating system images. But the difference is in your OS image, you can see multiple applications and dependent softwares present by default irrespective of whether you use them or not. Whereas in a container image, you can see only the application and its dependencies that is required for you. In a nutshell, container images are lightweight and the OS images are heavyweight. These Docker images set as a source for building your container. You can find these Docker images in a public repository called Docker Hub. What is the difference between your OS image and a container image? Basically, an OS image contains the OS kernel, software libraries, and on top of that, the vendor provided applications. If the required application is not present by default, you have to install the same once the OS image is installed in a machine. In this case, Apache. Apache won't be there by default in an operating system. Whether you use those applications or not, all the applications will be running inside the machine, which consumes heavy resources. Whereas, if you see a container image, there won't be any kernel present but the necessary software libraries required to run a particular application alone will be present. Let us take the same Apache. The necessary software to run the Apache web server alone will be present in a container image. When you run a container with this image, the container will be having only this Apache package. Now, what's the difference between a container image and a container? Container images are immutable, meaning you cannot change or modify the container image once it is created. The only way to change is to build a new container image from the scratch with the required changes as the next version of the image. On the other hand, the containers are the running instances of an image. In this picture, we have run two containers created from the same image. These containers in turn runs the same application but with different process IDs. How to create your own images? There are plenty of images available in Docker Hub. That is our public Docker repository. Sometimes your application requirements wouldn't be satisfied by these images. Under this scenario, you need to create your own images. Now, how to create your own images? There are basically two ways to do this. First way is to create an image from a running container. We are going to see a demo on this case later in this video. Second is to create an image from a Docker file. Docker file is a simple text file which contains set of instructions. When you execute this Docker file, your image will be built based on these instructions that you have given in this Docker file. What constitute a Docker image? A Docker image consists of several image layers. Each layer corresponds to set of instruction in your Docker file. 
if you see this docker file closely each of these instructions will build a layer in the docker image when it is built it. Now, where can we store these images? The place where you store your images is called as container registries. A container registry is a platform for storing and retrieving container images. A registry basically contains a collection of one or more container image repositories. You can store these images in each of these repositories. Each image repository contains one or more tagged images. You can keep building your images with different versions with the help of these tags. As we already discussed, Docker provides its own registry called as Docker Hub. You can also use your private or third party registries for storing your images. Docker Hub, VMware Harbor, Google Container Registry, Azure Container Registry are the commonly known container registries. Just a typical example for container registries showing how an user is building an image, pushing it to the container registry and consuming the same image to run a container in the Docker host by pulling it out from the container registry. Now we will see a demo on how to create an image from a con running container. Step number one, connect to the Docker host. Yes, search into your Docker host and check if the Docker service is running or not. This is our Docker host. Just to save your time, I have consolidated all the commands in a notepad well in advance. So this is the command to check if the Docker service is running or not. Now you can see the Docker service is up and running. Now it's step number two. We are going to pull a Nginx image from a Docker Hub and we are going to store it in our local repository. Just go to Docker Hub and search for the Nginx image. You can see this is the image that we are going to pull from Docker Hub. going to pull the Nginx image with the image version as Alpine. Now you can see the image is pulled to the local repository. Now it's step number three. Inspect the container image which you have pulled in the last step. can see all the image relevant details in this output. Step number four, run the Docker container from the Nginx image. With this command, I'm going to run the container in the name of happy in the detached mode. Detached mode means running the container in the background. 
now you can see a docker container is built up and it is running step number 5 we are going to customize the running container what we are going to do is we are going to copy our own index.html page into the running container the default nginx image that we have pulled doesn't have a web page configured into it this is the path that we are going to copy the index.html into the container i have already created our own index.html page just do a cat this is our own customized index.html page i'm going to copy this file into the container instead of html you can also use simple text now i have copied the index.html into the happy container now we are going to create a new image from the running container with our customized container we are going to build a new image out of it using docker commit command while committing make sure you tag the image with the docker repository where you are going to push this image in this case vsparks/webserver is my docker repository now you can see our customized image is created step number 7 now we are going to push the new image to our repository which is in docker hub to create your own repository you have to create a docker account i have already created one to which i am logging in now you can see this is my repository vsparks/webserver and this repository doesn't have any images it's empty now in your local in order to push the image to the remote repository you have to log in first use docker space login command to log in Yeah, I have successfully logged in now. Now try to push the local image to the remote repository. This will be successful only when you have tagged your local image in the name of your remote repository. Use docker push command to push your local image. Now the image is pushed you can cross check the same in the docker hub just i am refreshing my docker hub page you can see 1.0 image is pushed a few seconds ago now it's step number 8 clean all the local traces of the image and the container so i'm going to remove all the uh, container images and the containers in your local i mean in the docker host running containers should be stopped and removed in order to remove its aligned images
Now you can see all the traces are removed. Containers as well as the images are removed from your local host. Now step number nine, test the new image. We are going to create a new container from our customized image, which is available in our Docker repository. Also, we are going to map the container port to the Docker host port in order to access our web page. This web page is served by our container. Now execute this docker run command. Now you can see docker is pulling our customized image from docker hub. Okay. Now you can see the container is created and the container port of 80 is mapped to the docker host port 8080. In order to access the web page, you need to find the IP address or the DNS name of the docker host. 192.168.74.132 is my docker host IP. Try to access this IP address in port number 8080, which will forward the traffic to the container of port number 80. Yeah, you can see our customized web page in the browser now. That's it. This is the summary that we have discussed so far in this video. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.